Hello, this is Harker Bean, and I am here with the backrooms entity called the Dream Weaver. An entity that is known to give you nightmares, apparently. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. Entity number 77, Habitat is non-applicable. Description, the Dreamweaver is a non-physical entity that you can discover while dreaming in the back rooms or while fighting in the Dreamcatcher. This entity is an observer and does not engage in a hostile manner, although it can engage in your dreams in other ways through a number of passive abilities. This entity can do things such as alter your dream, give you dreams, and even cause hallucinations. The dream Weaver could be extremely dangerous if it were able to use its abilities for hostile activity. The Dream Weaver rarely appears in dreams and seems to come in random intervals, but is more encouraged to appear when interacting with a dream catcher. This is an object that will cause many effects on the human body, including an instantaneous sleep like stasis that will cause you to dream and attract this entity. The Dream Weaver will be unnoticeable once in your dream and will then manipulate your dreams in strange and challenging ways. Soon you will be able to stop to spot the Dream Weaver in different areas of your dream wandering around and disappearing, all while staring at you. The Dream Weaver feeds on the fear of a wanderer, so actively we can see dreamers' mental state to feed off their energy. For the user to be awoken, they'll need to escape the dream through strange means that are completely random. To running from a pack of wolves to simply eating a bowl of cereal, for example. The user will be asleep until the user escapes the entity in the dream, and successfully fight off this entity. In the event of the user escaping, the dream reaver will still lurk around the corners of your vision and reality for weeks. This entity can cause further hallucinations to the user and warp reality to the entity's will if needed through the auto the instant. This is a sense of reality in the place of hallucinations is very rare. This entity will f it, it will f a further worry further wearing down a mental state from there, including decreased hunger, water, and sleep effects in the back room. As a unit User will eventually need to eat, drink, and sleep. The Dream Weaver will have lasting effects for an amount of days that usually contain weeks. Weird sentence structure, but let's keep going. Biology The Dream Weaver is about 8 feet tall, has a skinny skeletal structure with black charcoal like skin that looks as if the entity's entire body was burnt. The Dream Weaver has long appendages protruding from the top of its skull. Flying to the back of its head, similar to a jester hat. It has sharp claws with webbed hands and feet. Its feet have three toes and claws sprouting from them. The Dreamweaver's face is long and wide as it has a huge grinning smile. Its lips crispy red as it seems to be flaking and peeling. The entity's teeth are enormous and sharp in a grinning style. Its eyes glow yellow and are similar to those of a lizard, with eyelids over the top half of its eyes. The Dreamweaver, when closed, makes a deep purring to growling sound at the user while grinning and smiling. The enemy's body, when and walking, is hunched over and walks in a slow manner. As it walks, it will stare at you through the corners of where it has appeared until eventually disappearing around a corner. The Dreamweaver has the ability to crawl and stick to any surface, but this entity is usually seen walking. <sighs> The Dreamweaver was once a myth, as it was only able to appear in dreams. This was all changed when our own members started to slowly go insane, and as they are describing that this creature haunts their dreams and mind. Soon after, MEG, you graduate a quick match, Fireflies was sent out to aid a group of wanderers to terminate a hostile entity. During the mission, the team stumbled upon the Dreamcatcher and had gotten into a sleep-like stasis. The team was put under the aid of MEG. Regiment Lifeline Mossy Medica to ensure the safety of their health. Fireflies are now normal and back on duty. This entity is under investigation and testing 
They love that this entry once we have included our discoveries. Interview log, August 24th, 2020. The inter er this interrogation log uh, uh, is about an MEG member of Team Volunteer Squad that wishes to stay anonymous had an encounter with the Dreamweaver. An MEG officer has started following the log. Begin log. 1229. Interviewer. MEG officer. Interviewee. Bob. The MEG officer is Sam. We would normally want you to state your name for the interview, but you want to remain anonymous and we respect that decision. Please elaborate on your experience. It, it was just a normal day for this place. I've been here for four or years. I know what to expect here, but this, it was horrible. I can't an escape for an entire two days of me asleep. It is a pretty horrible situation. May you please elaborate on the following events. It was just me at my old house, back home, as I always dream about. But this was different. Nobody was there. It was just me alone. Or that was just how it felt. The wanderer slowly starts shaking. Please say calm and continue the explanation. Right. I was walking around my house. I had seen open halls and stuff like that. I had a pretty big house as a kid. Me and my brother would I'd just get lost in what felt like a maze in our own home. This reminded me of that, but I soon realized I wasn't alone. As I looked at the door to drive me, my parents to my parents' room, I see it open. I see it. Continue. It was there. Look at me with its large smile as it walked slowly across the door frame until I couldn't see it. I panicked and ran. I thought that I had to get out of there. Then I noticed it was a dream, but I couldn't wake up. I was stuck. Please explain what you mean by stuck. I couldn't get out of my dream and wake up. I was stuck in my dream. I went outside of the house and ran everywhere. But there was no life, clear as day, and no one in sight. I ran into buildings and more buildings, but every building was my house on the inside. I couldn't escape it. It was just so quiet. I found a local store I always hanged around when I was a kid with my friends. I went inside saw so oh, no one there. The place always had a creepy storage basement in the building that was always that always made creaky noises and stuff. Me and my friends would joke, joke around about it, but we never went inside once. I was scared of it, but the owner of the store brought me down and showed only there was nothing to be afraid of. But this was different. The door opened slowly, creaking as it usually does. I went to look through the doorway. All I saw was the light above me shining on the wind staring below I me. Mean, the rest was darkness. Then I hear movement down there. I couldn't move. I was there for what felt like minutes, frozen. Until I saw a yellow glow of what looked like eyes. It was getting closer. Closer. Until I saw its hand to stretch through the darkness. It was to grab onto the railing on the, of the wall. Its hand making a crispy crunching noise as it grabbed the rally which it made. Ended with a metallic screech. Its face was so close to me, but I couldn't see it yet until it got even closer. It was there, its face slowly revealing itself as the echoes as of its slow horror filled my ears. As the light of my lamp and above me shined on its horrifying face, staring at me. The creak of every step it took. I I couldn't take it. Please, calm down. There's no need to panic here. We'll bring you some almond water for you if you need it. It was everywhere I went, every corner I looked, I would see it. I haven't gone to sleep for weeks. I could see it when I closed my eyes. It's in my face. It's everywhere I look. Even right now, it's right behind you. <sighs> Please calm yourself. We're retrieving almond water for you at this moment. Please be patient and a muffled scream if you heard from the MG officer. Whereas they have flipped over be behind it um, and disappear as the alarm was set off around Ace Alpha via MG security. Alert! MG officer 
or, or Sam has disappeared and was taken by a hostile entity. Please, everyone, be aware of your surroundings and report any strange events to the MG team's secure security. <sighs> Summary The Wanderer was treated with almond water and had gone back to normal health. The MEG is sent out a team quick match to search for the officer, and through days of searching, the officer was never found. At this moment, this ND has powers and abilities beyond what we had previously thought. More studies are to be taken. Other projects are put on hold until this ND can be fully investigated via Overseer, com Overseer 3 command. End log 1237. Also, Overseer 3 is obviously a reference to what this site is trying to be like. Let's get back on topic though. Do's and don'ts when it comes to the Dreamweaver. Do keep away from um, any dream catcher that is around you. Escape the dream you are in at any cost. If you escape the dream weaver, you must drink on water and seek MEG assistance. Don't try to interact with the entity or try to provoke it. I haven't done an background video in a while. Whew. Well, this was an interesting video. This was an entity called the Dreamweaver, a creature that seems to put you into, that seems to manipulate your dreams so it can feed off of your fear. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you tomorrow with a different video. Not sure what, and it doesn't really matter. All I know is that I'll be having fun. And hopefully you will too. Till then, goodbye!